This is tutorial number eight. It's just covering something quite a few people miss. So if you go to the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, scroll down, you'll eventually get to um, Home Remote. And that allows you to um, choose, you know, if you've granted location or notification permission, you can turn that on or off, um, as well as set some defaults. So um, you don't have to keep entering the same URL or MyLite IP or port once you've um, enabled it. So disable when locked just means if your device is pin locked but you still provide access to the today screen, you can lock out um, usage of the app. The buttons will still show but a button press won't actually go through. Um, reset alerts is more essentially a, a debug thing for myself but if you wanted to see the warnings again you could press that button. Generate configuration is a useful one. So the app should sync its data over iCloud. So if you add or modify settings on one device, um, it will appear on your iPad or iPhone or whatever other, other device you're using. Um, it's always a good idea to take a backup. You know, you never know when you're gonna lose your data from iCloud or anything. So generate configuration will just mean if you turn that switch on and then go back to the app, um, you'll see that we'll get an alert saying that the configuration file has been created. You can access that via iTunes. It's in the little documents folder that, that all apps have. Um, you can take it out of there or you can put one in there. And if there's one in there, which there is now because I've just generated it, when you come to reopen the app, it just says it's loaded it. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and swap out my existing one um, I've got a computer say I've just used my configuration um, in there now so I'm, I've got one saved so just so you can see how that's gonna gonna behave I will drop in a more ready made configuration so you'd open the app it will load in the configuration file you'll see I've got a whole new settings all down here and if I bring down the today screen now it updates with my complete list.